so I wanted to upgrade the hard drive of my laptop since the day I bought it. Also the drive that my laptop came with was pretty slow. I couldn't find a 2.5 inch hard drive over 2TB. Although you'll find many of them but they are not meant to be used in normal laptops. So eventually I had to go for 2TB at least. But before we proceed, just for the record, let me tell you that it was going to be my secondary drive since I've already got an NVMe SSD as my primary storage in which I store pretty much all my essentials. And it's quite adequate for now since I store all the big files either on my secondary drive or on the network storage. And some of you might be wondering why didn't I opt for an SSD instead? Well, a 2TB SSD would have cost at least 5 times the price of any hard drive. And yes, I agree that it would have been 5 times faster than any normal hard drive. But there was no point of spending that much money when I knew that all I'm gonna store is just my videos and other documents. So I found something that was actually what I was looking for. A hybrid hard drive. Yes, an SSHD from Seagate which is both hard drive and SSD. And if that was not enough, it was available up to 2TB. And guess what? There was a Black Friday sale. Now that I have the drive, I think I should just install it. Wait, but how do I move my files to the new one now? Now in order to move my files from the older one to the new one, I had to get an external hard drive. So I ordered this drive which always happens to be on sale. But saving a couple of bucks in exchange of reliability isn't a good idea. And you know what, I never wanted to get an external hard drive at first place because first I had to copy my files from the older drive all the way to my external one then paste it back to the new one which is a lot of work. Now at this moment I was pretty much clueless. But then I came across this thing called hard drive enclosure which not only would have saved me a lot of time but it would also save the older drive from getting completely obsolete by making it an external hard drive. So what else was I waiting for? I read couple of negative reviews about the product but you know what I didn't give a damn and ordered it. Wow, it almost looks identical to other external hard drives which is cool. You get the enclosure, few paper book and the proper IoT cable. In case if you don't know, even the external hard drives has the real 2.5 inch hard drives spinning inside. So technically, both are somewhat the same thing. And did I tell you that this thing supports USB 3.1? Well at least it says so, this is something that I have to check whether it's true or not. And we'll see if that makes any difference in speed. And for those of you who don't know, this particular enclosure is just a case for SATA hard drives and they do not come with any hard drive. Now I had to open it up in order to put my hard drive inside so... Now this thing is gonna be plugged to the SATA port of the hard drive. And in return, it'll give us a USB 3.1 pass-through, which we can connect to our computers externally. So this is my new 2TB SSHD, which I'm gonna install in a moment. But before that, let me tell you a few things about this thing. This is a 2TB 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive and it also has an 8GB SSD inside. But you won't be able to use the SSD because that's something this drive does on its own. So over a course of time, it'll know what files you use the most and it's gonna put those files to the SSD. So if you have FIFA 18 on the drive and you play it every day, so over the course of time, after playing the game every day, so the drive will know that this is the folder that it has to put on the SSD so that the next time you open FIFA 18, it's gonna load up much faster. So it's not something you can customize but it's still better than any normal hard drives. I'm gonna install this in a moment but before that let's remove the older drive. Not gonna lie, it looks all easy but removing cabinet was somewhat tough. I used this sort of screwdriver to remove the cabinet by the way. Just be a little careful here. Have a look at the drive in case if you wanna see it. Now that we have removed the older hard drive, time to install the new one. Okay, so here's our new drive. Now let's just put it inside and hook this up with our SATA input. Okay, so that was easy. Now it's time for saving this drive from getting dumped. 
Oh, by the way, this drive is from Toshiba and it's a one terabyte hard drive, which was about to get completely obsolete by the way. Okay, so now this guy is going to help this one to become an external hard drive. Okay, so I need to put it this way. Yeah, from the top. And yeah, it may feel like that it's stuck inside, but trust me, I pushed it and it was completely inside. Pretty snug. But keep in mind that the hard drive isn't hitting either side of the enclosure. That may harm it if the sensitive side of the hard drive gets scratched by the enclosure. So now that it's inside, let's get this guy to work. Okay, let's see how it goes. But before, let's check how is my laptop affected after changing the hard drive. I don't think that there should be any sort of error since this is just a secondary drive. But as I've never tried this before, let's hope that it boots up normally. Cause I don't want to format my PC right now. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hope it boots up. I think it should be fine now. Why is this taking so much time? Cause usually it just doesn't take more than 3 seconds. Oh, okay. Let's just enter the password. Okay, so finally it boots up normally, but the hard drive wasn't appearing there. So I opened the computer management, went to storage, and there it was. A pop-up showed up. I had to go through the installation process. There will be two options. MBR would work with the older version of Windows such as Windows 8 or even 7 for an instance. But because it's a 2TB hard drive, and I'd suggest you to use the MBR unless you wish to use the older version of Windows in future. Time for a quick speed test. I was getting about 120 Mbps write and 130 Mbps read. Time to connect the hard drive that contains all my data. Now time to check the speed of this new drive. I'll be testing it with the USB 3.0 and you can check the USB 3.1 speed in the video description. Now let's compare this against WD elements. The one that I have is a 1TB variant in case if you guys were curious. Seems like it's faster than the Toshiba drive. Maybe the Toshiba drive could have performed better. Is it the enclosure that's bottlenecking or is it the USB 3? Well for the final results check the video description. So at the end of the day, I upgraded my stock hard drive to the bigger and faster drive, moved all my files safely and got a new external hard drive. I'll leave a link to all the product I mentioned in this video. If you guys are going to get any of the product, consider buying from our link as it helps our channel and doesn't cost you any extra. So that was it for this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Also, you can share this video with your friends on WhatsApp and Facebook for a surprise and hit that red subscribe button for more such videos. It's free and it's not gonna cost you anything except for your one precious second. So guys, subscribe. This is Arthur signing out from my instant search. So you still haven't closed the video yet. Alright, you are awesome. And because of such a lovely people you guys are, we hit 18,000 subscribers recently. Now just for you guys, I should do a giveaway, right? How about a giveaway on 50k? Next goal, 50,000 subscribers. Can we do this guys? Let me know in the comment section.